kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to integrate the Crashlytics Fabric IO SDK inside your Android project. So, let's get started. So, basically, Crashlytics is an SDK uh, which uh, gives you a complete uh, analytics of your application, like how many users are using your app, and how much time they uh, they are on your app, and also if the if your application crashes at some point so you can also get all the analytics and all the information so it is a very good uh, SDK which you should uh, include in your all the applications alright so in this video I am going to show you how to uh, first of all open or how to use the console of the Crashlytics and uh, and then you need to uh, how you can integrate that into your Android project so let's get started so guys as you can see that I already have opened the page for the fabric IO Crashlytics so when you open it for the Android so here you can see the most powerful yet uh, lightest weight crash reporting solution alright so here it is the dashboard so first of all you need to create an account so as i already have created an account so i am already logged in so here i have this application with all the information like affected users like number of crashes and then the crash free sessions how many crash free sessions are here then we have the devices on which devices my application is cr uh, is uh, the crashing and many other things you can see here these are all the events then we have crashes and uh, non fatals all right so first of all what you need to do is first of all you need to click on install here and as you as, and make sure that this android uh, icon is selected so first of all you need to add the kit to your build.gradle so as you can see i already have created the project in android studio so first of all you need to copy it this maven uh, this line and you need to go to your build.gradle and after this this j center just paste it here sorry okay so here you need to just um, manually write it so i will write it as and here we will have the url maven.fabric.io slash public alright so here we have this and after that we need to add the class path so here we will have the class path let me check it ok so the here you need to add the class path here and it will be co io dot fabric dot tools dash gradle and it will be of version 1.29.0 alright after you do this just you need now you need to go to build.gradle and here you need to add the plugin as you can see here since we have done this and here we need to add this apply plugin io.fabric so here you we can say apply plugin and inside this we can uh, write io dot fabric all right and after this we just need to now uh, add this dependency the crash latex so just copy that 
and paste it here inside your dependencies and instead of compile you should write implementation all right and after that make sure to follow all these steps here and there you, you need now need to add your api key so since this is my api key which is by default here so i will just copy that and i will go to my manifest file and here i will paste it here all right and finally i just need to click on sync now now the gradle is compiling and also make sure that you have the internet uh, user permission here all right so now it is uh, easily integrated to our project and now the another thing is we now need to initialize this so if we can say fabric and just click on here and it is now copy to your uh, clipboard and go to your main activity and before this set content view just paste it here and you just have successfully integrated the fabric crash lightics sdk in your android project all right uh, uh, now what i will do is i will just uh, run my app and also i want to show you here inside our dashboard let me display all uh, there these are the three apps all right and if i write if i run my app on my phone let me connect it and I have connected my phone and now it will be running so when our app will run this our app will be shown here all right <laughs> yes it is now getting installed and yes now the application is running on my phone and now if we go to the, our dashboard and if i click on refresh so there you will see our application here okay so since uh, we have this application so yes com dot my apps dot my application so if i see the uh, package name so here you can see we have this package name all right so let's say i change my package name and instead of this my application just write my app and click on refactor and also here we need to change it like my app and now click on sync now <laughs> and yes now it we will run it and you will be able to see our new app here so let's see i have i am running the app on my phone and yes my app is now running and if we click on refresh here so i hope that our application will be here and yes you can see that our uh, new application is here and there you will see zero crashes and zero users so now i will i will try to crash my application 
so that we have uh, some information on the console so i will write public void crash my app method and inside that i will have the view object then here we uh, we can say throw new runtime exception and here hello this is exception all right and i will just copy it and i will have a button here and inside this button on click method so i will just uh, write here and now i will run my app and i will crash uh, it will crash my app and then we will be able to see the crash report here all right and now my application is crashed and if i click on refresh okay so it is uh, already zero yes as you can see one crash and here it is also showing me the line where the application is crashed and it is also showing me the device name operating system then also showing me the gb then free ram and many other things all right guys so i hope that you have uh, learned how to integrate the crash lighting so i hope that you will integrate it in your all the applications so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye